Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we're back in Medieval 2 Total War in the historical battle section. So I'm going to play the Battle of Otumba where Cortez takes on the Aztecs. Now as you can see, my army is quite upgraded. It has musketeers which are always useful for the um for getting rid of enemy morale and these conquistadors I think are going to be key against the a lot of melee infantry that the Aztecs are fielding. Um, obviously the Aztecs in this battle they have the numerical advantage but Cortez basically has the engineering advantage. He has guns, he has cavalry and all the Aztecs really have are swords and shields and bricks and stones. The New World. Since fleeing the Aztec capital, Tenochtitlan, Hernán Cortés and his Spanish conquistadors have been relentlessly pursued by Aztec warriors, keen to exact revenge for La Noche Triste, the sad night. On crossing the mountains overlooking the Otumbo Plains, Cortés and his men find an enormous Aztec host waiting for them in the valley below. The Spaniards, suffering from hunger and disease, are exhausted. However, having made alliances with local tribes, the Spaniards are supported by Tlaxclan warriors who have no love for their Aztec overlords. Indeed, some of Cortez's Tlaxcatlan guides have gone for help from nearby tribes. Even with allies, looking at the army below, Cortez and his men expect their final hour has arrived. Cortez speaks to his men, telling them that science and discipline will prevail against the vast number of Aztecs arrayed against them. The Spanish are armed with steel and gunpowder weapons, while the Aztecs, though fierce and skilled warriors, are armed only with weapons of wood, stone, and obsidian. The Aztecs, without knowledge of horses in battle, have chosen to meet the Spaniards on Otumba's open plains, rather than amongst the crags and forests that would have negated the awesome power of Cortez cavalry. Cortez instructs his men to target the many chiefs leading their men below. After earnest prayers to Santiago, the Virgin Mother and God, Cortez and his men prepare for what will be a fight for survival. Only victory in the upcoming battle will allow Cortez and his men to see another day. Good old Cortez, great leader in history. But I suppose this battle is basically a fight for survival right now. So, first things first, we'll move these guys over here to cover the musketeers. Move the musketeers back to make sure they cover themselves. Um, the crossbowmen behind the musketeers, because um, they can shoot over the musketeers where, well, the musketeers can't really shoot through people they'll try on this game don't worry about it but <laughs> they're not really supposed to um, it looks like we're all lined up if my guys can get into position I'll move my cavalry back because I want to save them um, for later on when they're going to be needed um, looks like my musketeers are firing from this ridge which is perfect it's exactly what I want them to doing and my men are ready and braced um, except these guys on the end but that's okay. Um, you boys can help out your Tlaxcalan uh, brothers. Make sure they survive. So here we have peasants against sword and buckler men. These sword and buckler men will tear through these peasants without any thought, which is awesome. Um, the musketeers are very spread out, so that's good. You can get more shots off at the same time. These men are in a great position. The only thing they've got to... Santo, the heathens 
bring more warriors to battle. Right, so they're coming from up here. Okay, um, but as I was saying, um, the only thing they can really get affected by is um, archers, so they can just keep uh, plowing away. Um, crossbowmen. Uh, the good thing about Pervis crossbowmen, they're also very good in melee, so if these guys need any help, then, uh, well, they can get it, basically. Um, if anything goes wrong. Alright, what do we have up here? We have some Aztec... Um, Aztec Warriors, Eagle Warriors, Coyote Priest and Bodyguard, okay. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. So let's do an uphill charge. Which, to be honest, you shouldn't be doing, really. I mean, you should always try and charge on a level plane or downhill, but... Um, there isn't really a place where I can get something like that. Oh, Right, so here are my reinforcements. We have some uh, dismounted conquistadors and some Talaxclan mercenaries. I'm going to send them straight over here so they can deal with these guys who may reinforce this army, um, which obviously I don't want happening. Uh, let's just do a flanking maneuver over here to finish off these peasants. There we go. <laughs> well, straight away. Ah, uh, lovely. That's one general down. Conquistador. Keep after their chiefs. Conquistadors have done very well. Um, and it looks like Cortez is mopping up the Arrow Warriors. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, yeah, our Conquistadors are basically just running through these men. They have lost a few, but it's okay because they're highly upgraded. They won't take that much of a morale shock. Um, yeah, my men are getting a bit surrounded over here. Um, but hopefully my musket, uh, musketeers can uh, basically rout these pre peasants before they even get there. Um, so instead of just peasants now, we have the Aztec warriors coming in and some of the more heavy infantry, such as the bodyguards. So we've got to watch out for that. On this side, it seems pretty passive. Like, uh, basically, the musketeers are just taking out the missile troops. Um, wow. That unit's just going down and down. It must have been these musketeers. But um, I don't have... There is no point in moving these men. Because if I move them down, they will get outflanked. They will get destroyed. Um, there, there are too many units there to um, create a full frontal attack. Uh, Cortez has done well, so let's bring him back. Let's try and do some uh, maybe attack assaults into the side. Uh, you guys can just finish off those peasants. Oh, these guys are right in the corner, so let's bring them back. Yeah, this should be quite devastating. Yep, routing straight away. <laughs> um, where's Cortez? Come on, Cortez, get moving. I'm quite happy with these uh, Talatsklin, uh mercenaries, but unfortunately at this side they seem to have a lot of troops, so we might have to... Let's just do that, do a flanking maneuver, try and get rid of some of those spearmen. We might have to um, maybe send in the crossbowmen or uh, do something. Maybe pull my men back so the musketeers can get some good shots in. Uh, pull the, uh, Probably the best idea would be to pull the cavalry around and just uh, first of all take out their missile troops go around and then come in from behind and attack so I'm gonna try and do that uh, I don't think they're gonna be too happy about that well done Cortez that was a good charge um, you come here ah good right uh, so we've started a bit of a route maybe that'll help from the east where's it oh Host. Kill him and the other right, okay. You know, send you guys around there. Um, how are we doing? The conquistadors are really mopping up here, which is great. It's just that all from all sides attack them. Uh, as he said, the main chief is over here. So basically, I'm just going to let my guys slaughter them. Uh, they should do, especially with those uh, dismounted conquistadors there. I can't deal with these guys at the moment, which is a bit of a shame, but 
Um, once my horses are done over here, I can send them. Well, I can send one group over here to deal with those guys and also support my reinforcing army, which is going after their commander. Um, let's go back here. How are we doing? There's quite a lot of Aztec warriors going for a walk. That worries me a bit. Uh, good old taunting. That <laughs> charge straight into them. Let's stop that taunting right now. Oh, there's a general dead. Chihauku. That's a cool name. Um, yeah, these guys are just walking off. They seem to think that this is enough men to deal with mine. I disagree. Um, but we shall see. Where's Cortez? Right, we need to charge straight into those guys, otherwise they're going to throw their javelin straight into my conquistadors. Oh! <laughs> Killed another general on a charge. Right, let's send these guys to the back. Ah, they're all fleeing. Nice one. Killed all the generals. Well, that was a good victory. Um, as you can see, we only lost 400 men and compared to killing 1,200. Uh, 1,250. And basically, um, Cortez himself did very well, and the cavalry. Uh, the musketeers got a lot of kills and also created a morale shock, which is always useful, especially in Medieval 2, um, where you have a lot of units which don't have a lot of morale. So, once again, thank you for watching, and have a great day.